Bowspring alignment can immediately alleviate discomfort in the low back caused by a C curve. A C curve is a singular outward curve of the spine. Examples of instant relief can be found in standing forward fold, pyramid pose, or in twisting postures. Being in a C curve can be beneficial for a calm rest or to comfort emotional pain. However, being active and dynamic in the C curve, well, it just doesn't work. Unless your name is Quasimodo. Many chairs are designed for maximum comfort. Sitting at the dinner table, in your car, at your office, or watching movies at home on your Chesterfield can lead to 8 to 12 hours a day in the C-curve position. A lifestyle that is sedentary, sedimentary, sedentistry, sedimentary, a lifestyle that is not very active. If you search online for yoga and lower back pain, often the advice is to stretch out the back with maximum spinal flexion like an angry cat. Why are cats so angry? or maximum spinal extension like a cow pose. Why aren't cows angry? Instead of moving to opposite extremes on the flexibility spectrum, bowspring postures emphasize a balanced middle ground between inward and outward curves. There are misconceptions that bowspring is just sticking your butt out to create arching in your low back. Twerk, 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 something, 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 buh, 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 buh. The first alignment principle of bowspring is called radiant heart. It is a circumferential expansion of the rib cage in all directions. In all fours, if the rib cage drops towards the ground and the lower back is overarched, the result is ow. However, if the rib cage is light and expansive, the outward curve of the upper back can harmonize the inward curve of the lower back. This is important for practitioners who already have a natural curve in the low back, especially those with many years of yoga experience. Bowspring is not dumping into and over compressing the low back. If the pelvis is tipped forward by the lower back muscles only, primarily the quadratus lumborum, the lower back can feel sore from overuse of these muscles. Instead, recruit your glutes to serve your curves. The glute muscles originate at the ilium and sacrum and insert on the femur. When a muscle is properly engaged, it moves from the insertion to the origin. Therefore, when the butt muscles are engaged, they lift up and not down. Engaged meaning toned. A romantic engagement between the left and right gluteal muscles would never work. There'd always be a crack in the middle. Using the feet and legs mindfully can engage the glutes. In all fours, pushing the knees out to the sides can lift the butt muscles. Isometrically dragging your foot back can lift the glutes in standing position. Finally, moving the rib cage in direct opposition to the hips will naturally create the curvatures of the spine. The most animal-like stretch in yoga is full morning stretch after final resting. When you reach the arms and legs in direct opposition, the low back lifts away from the floor and the upper back presses down. It can be common for new students of bowspring to feel some discomfort in the low back due to misinterpretation of alignment technique, over-engagement of certain muscles, or unexpected accidents that only occur in bowspring classes. I'm Jonathan Boyd. Until next time, keep it on the mat.